Grief takes no days off. It actually loves the extra overtime from Monday. So to all the grievers that are fighting through their pain, as well as the grinders and hustlers that keep pushing forward, these after work motivation videos for you. Every step you take transforms your grief into a gift. Keep moving, stay strong, and let these inspirational videos keep you motivated. All my grievers that stay grinding and hustling out there, see the benefits of being different because it's from those qualities that your greatness will be born. Today's video talks about that. Stop letting those outside voices keep you from finding yours. Welcome back to the Grief Empowerment Theory After Work Monday Motivation. Every video that's designed for you to stay on your path. Don't deviate and commit to forward progress. Subscribe to the channel so you can stay connected to a group of people that are choosing to turn challenges into fuel. Like the video and ring the bell to make sure you're one of the first to receive the latest content. Don't let other people's thoughts steal your opportunities. How many times have you talked yourself out of doing something that could totally turn your life around, that can make you incredible? A lot of people will do things like procrastinate to a point where you never did what you were supposed to do. A few years later, you see that somebody else did it. But now you have to live in regret. You have to say, I could have did that. But the reality is you didn't. You allow that to stagnate you. You did it because you were scared. The fear could do one or two things for you. It could have been your launch path. You could have been scared, but did it anyway. There are so many incredible inventions, people that have created incredible plays. They were scared to do them, but they didn't let the fear impede them from doing it. It meant that they used it as a catalyst to move them forward. Or you could do what most people do. Allow the fear to anchor you down. Allow it to be some justifiable excuse to keep you from being your best. We've heard so many people say things like, oh, you're fine just the way you are. That personally, that's one of the biggest cop outs that there is. No, you're not. Think about this. You went through the nine months during your mother's gestation period, and now you're here. When you get here, you're now telling yourself that all I'm meant to do is what I'm doing now. Your goal is to continue moving in a forward direction, understanding that the fear is a part of getting to the better version of us. The process is messy. Once you understand that it's messy, you can accept the fact that sometimes I'm just not going to make it happen. But as long as I keep on moving, the law of averages will eventually work to my favor. There are too many people. They've kept themselves from their greatness to the point where they have justified living a very small and meager lifestyle and then be envious at other people who took the risk, formulated a decision in their mind that created an action and it culminated into a result that worked to their advantage. The only reason why you really mattered it is because you're upset at yourself. Don't be one of those people. Don't allow what has happened to you to allow you to believe that you're not worthy. The difficulties that we experience, it's going to do everything that it can to lead us to believe that 
we don't deserve to become a better version of us. There was a book. It was by a gentleman called Ishiro Kishimi. But the book is called The Courage to be Disliked. And he talks about the fact that there are so many people in this world who put themselves in a situation where they've allowed other people to keep them from their potential greatness because they wanted to be liked by everyone. It allowed them to sacrifice their principles so they could fit into someone else's mold. They're not observing courage. They want to be liked by everybody. What they're not understanding is that you can be liked by everyone, but hate yourself. And there's no reason to do that. We have to learn to move ahead, even though in our heads, the grief is doing everything that it can to allow us to feel like moving forward is wrong. We're supposed to live the way society wants us to live. We're supposed to stay within this particular status quo. We're supposed to be able to fit into the herd because you're strange if you go outside of it. What you have to understand is that sometimes you have to agree to be strange. The people that actually have the courage to be disliked end up becoming the people of legend. Never let outsiders lead you to believe that being different is not a benefit to your growth and your progress. Relish your differences. Know that being different, that's the spark that you're going to need to transform your grief into growth. Stay on your path. Even when other people want you to stray away, you can surround yourself with the community that's dedicated to transformation. Like this in all my videos because they're developed to motivate you so you can keep moving. Ring the bell to make sure that you're alerted to the latest inspiring videos. Remember, being different is the key to discovering a better version of yourself. Stay moving and Use your challenges as fuel to transform your grief into your gift.